morning year one. In today's English lesson we are going to be starting a new story. So just like we do in school when we start a new story, our first few lessons we do a lot of talking don't we? We ask a lot of I wonder questions and we have a lot of discussion around the story. So I'm going to show you the front cover of our new story today. It is called The Ant and the Big Bad Bully Goat. Big Bad Bully now. In the Three Billy Goats Gruff, who would we describe as a Big Bad Bully? We'd probably describe the troll as the bully, wouldn't we? Because he was the villain. He wasn't very nice. And the goats, they just wanted to get to the other side and eat some grass. Big Goat did get a little bit cross at the end and he tried to fight the troll, knock him off the bridge. But we wouldn't really have described the goats as the big bad bullies. So this story has changed the villain. Okay, I'm going to show you an illustration from the story and I'm going to ask you some I wonder questions so you can make some predictions and have a guess at what you think's happening. So when I ask a question, I want you to pause the video and you, can, you don't need to write your answer down, you can just talk about it, okay? So this is the picture I want to show you. You can see a badger and we think that's probably the goat there, look. So my first I wonder question is, I wonder why badger is behind a tree? I wonder why he's behind the tree. My next question is I wonder how Badger is feeling in this part of the story. Is there anything that gives you a clue as to how Badger is feeling? I wonder where Goat is here. I wonder where he is. Where is this part of the story happening? And if I zoom in a little bit more, you can see on the path is a tiny ant. I wonder why ant is walking towards the door here. What do you think ant is about to do? Okay, now you've answered some of our I wonder questions. I am going to read the first part of the story to you because that might help you see if your predictions were correct. It will give us a little bit more information about what's happening. Badger lived in a burrow by the forest. Everything was just so. His milk jug on the shelf, a store of honey in the cupboard and a grain in the kitchen pot. So what does this picture and this information tell us about Badger and his character? I think it tells us that he's very clean, very organised, he likes to have things tidy and where they're meant to be. You can see he's dusting his shelf in this picture too. One fine summer's day, he went into the garden to pick cabbages for his soup. While he was out, a huge, bad old billy goat crept into the burrow and barred the door. So that's where the goat is. When we were looking at that picture before, he was inside Badger's burrow and he shut himself in, himself in. he's locked the door. So now Badger can't get in his own home. Badger came back to see his door shut tight. He knocked politely. Billy Goat answered through the window. Your house is all mine now. It serves you right for leaving it unlocked. Badger was angry, but the goat was bigger and badder than him. So off he went to see the old bull down the lane who was feared by all the animals in the village. 
Help me, bull. Billy Goat has stolen my burrow. You mean Billy Goat with twisty horns as sharp as swords? The bull shivered in fear. Yes, that's the one, said Badger. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, replied Bull, but I'm in a bit of a rush. The farmer has told me to eat all the grass in this field by sundown. I wish I could be of more help. Why don't you go and ask Bull? Okay, I'm going to stop the story there. And I'm going to ask you a few more questions that I want you to think about. Why do you think Bull doesn't want to help Badger? He said, I'm in a bit of a rush. The farmer's told me I've got to eat all the grass by sundown. Do you think Bull is telling the truth? If he isn't telling the truth, why doesn't he want to help Badger? What do you think? Now, I don't think that Bull is telling the truth. I don't think that he's actually really busy. I think he's actually feeling a bit scared of the goat and he doesn't want to help because he doesn't want to face the big bad bully goat. Are there any words in this part of the story that give us a clue that Bull is feeling a bit afraid of big bad bully goat? So I'm going to read it to you one more time. See if you can hear any words that show us that Bull is scared of the big bad bully goat. You mean Billy Goat with twisty horns as sharp as swords? The bull shivered in fear. Yes, that's the one, cried Badger. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, replied Bull, but I'm in a bit of a rush. Okay, so what were the words there that tell us that Bull is actually not busy but is a bit scared of the goat. Now it says the bull shivered in fear. He's shivering, he's so scared and nervous of the goat and he asks what with twisty horns as sharp as swords? So I think he's a bit scared because the goat has such sharp horns. How do you think Badger is feeling now. Now Bull has said that to him, how do you think he's feeling? I think he's probably feeling a little bit disappointed, isn't he? Because he was really hoping that the bull would help him because he's much bigger. And I, didn't, I don't think that Badger expected the bull to be so afraid of a goat. So he's quite shocked, but he's also a little bit worried because he's thinking, oh no, what am I going to do now if you won't help me? And this is what I want you to write about today. I want you to predict what you think Badger is going to do next, okay? So you're going to write a prediction of what, what's going to happen next in the story. So your sentence starter can be, I think Badger will. And I want you to try and hold that sentence starter in your head. Keep saying it over and over. I want you to have a go at writing it down using your Fred fingers to sound out words. And then I want you to finish the sentence. I think Badger will. And tell me what you think Badger will do next now that Bull is not going to help him. Where is he going to go? What is he going to do? Is he going to face up to the goat all by himself? Is he going to just leave the burrow and move on, get a new home? What do you think? Have a go at writing your predictions all by yourself, by holding on to your sentence, using your Fred fingers and your sound charts, and then upload them to me on Dojo so I can see what your prediction is. And then I will see you all next week. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.